Welcome back to a brand new YouTube C Sharp tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we're going to work with basics of Combo Box. And this is a Combo Box. And you can get a Combo Box from the Tool Box and right here. Its Hungarian notation is CBO. You can see right here by the name CBO Colors. Now, a combo box is a mashup between a text box, which only has one line of text generally, and a list box, which can have many entries. It com it's a combination of the two. And what you do is you have different choices. You have a simple drop down and a drop down list. This program uses a drop down list. That means you can't type into the text box portion. But if you click on this arrow, a list comes up. So the first thing we have to do is get things into that list, that combo box list, so you can work with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the combo box and we're going to look at some properties for it. Right here you can see the name of it, CBO Colors. If you scroll down in the properties to something called Items, and it says a collection. Where have we seen items before? If you said the list box when we added stuff to it, you are 100% correct. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to enter in two colors, beige and brown. That's one way to get them into the combo box. So you click on the combo box, you come to properties, and you click on items. You click there, and you add them. Another one you can do is through code. And this is how like websites do it, where it reads the different colors available from a database and where you would do that is on the form load so notice I'm clicking on the form outside of an object not on this not on the label not on this text box and not on these buttons but in this area where there's nothing and that brings up the form load event and I'm gonna add more colors here's another way I can do it you simply type CBO colors dot items dot add and you can add the color you would like to do. So let's add aqua. Okay. Uh, so remember I had beige and brown I added back on the combo box at property window and here I'm adding them in as I want to on the form load event. Let's go back to the form. And one more property we have to set. If you click here, and we have the items, and it says, um, do we want it sorted or not? And I do. So if you remember correctly, I have some I entered through the items property, such as beige and brown. I just noticed I spelled beige incorrectly. So I can come in here and change that. Okay. So I can enter values here, or I can click on the form and add the values here. Notice it's on the form load event. So let's go run this code, and then I'll go over the explanation of it. So you come in, and we have a drop down, and I'm going to choose green and I'm debugging it and notice I'm in the combo colors selected index change so that happens when you click on the combo box and make a choice this code is fired so notice you can get to what was selected in the combo box by just using the dot text property so we're going to step through the code and you can see green got put in there. And what is this right here? If you said a method, you are correct. I'm passing in a string that represents a color that was selected to this code and it returns back the color of what we would like to change the back color of the output to. So to follow the debug into the method, you choose F11. And here we go. I'm going to step through the code. So notice a string comes in, green, out comes a color object. So we have 
some code here that we take the incoming string and we compare it to the different colors. Remember we passed in green and we're going to return back out not a text or string of color green but there's actually a color object in C sharp that represents all the different colors and I'll show you that in a few minutes. Alright, we step through the code we return the color and how we return as you notice right here is the object or the data type we return and returning a color object and we set it the text output to the color so basically you pick a color we call this piece of code called a method that sets the back color to whatever string you passed in that's what happens no big mystery to it and there you go now we added aqua correct and let's go see what happens we're going to step through the code we say okay you picked aqua perfect we did that now let's call this code passing in a string called aqua and we want to get the color aqua out and I'm stepping through the code and notice it's not there because just because I added it to the combo box does not mean my code knows what to do with it so I have to make a change okay I'm stepping through and notice we get gray not aqua so let's see what we can do to fix that okay we exit out okay we go to the form let's go here okay we don't have to change anything here and the get color object from combo box is where we have to make a change so I go down here and I need to add an else if else if s in color equals equals okay and now notice I didn't put curly braces here because there's only one thing that happened and I know I've told you in class you should so I could go do this very quickly notice I say color to return equals color now notice the color has a slightly different color on the object dot and there's aqua and that's a predetermined color that someone in Microsoft created for us alright notice this color blue is reserved words or keywords in C sharp this lighter blue are objects and notice I take a string in I look at the string and return or I set temporarily to another color object color to return the color the object color that Microsoft has created for us and then I get it out of the method with this return so think of like an indoor of a restaurant in comes a string we figure out what the color object is and we send it back out and I'm going to enhance my code because I got to do what I suggest is the best way of coding I must practice what I preach I don't have to but it's good coding to do that and I got one more thing to show you when I'm done with this piece oh I got a backwards one so you may ask yourself do I need these curly braces and remember if you only have one thing to do then you don't need them but again I think you should alright I fixed up my code I made it look awesome and there's one more thing I want to show you which is this change button color so you know when I click here I tied logic to the name of the combo box which is combo box colors select index change whenever I pick something from the list this code fires what I have a separate piece of code is when you click here what it does it does two things it changes the color of the button that was selected in the CBO colors and it also shows you how to concatenate a message like I get you picked and I get the new line I put what the color was in an environmental new line in from the color's name and I'll show you in a few minutes what that does and I have a message box pop up you're going to need this code for one of your future assignments so let's see how this works okay I pick let's pick aqua okay we go through the code real quick F11 through it call the method set to aqua out comes aqua I run it 
Beautiful. It works because I added the code for it. Click change color button. I come in here. So I call the same method. Notice I put that code in a method because it's called from the button get combo click. And it's also called from the combo box selected index change. So any code that's going to be shared I put in one place. Let's step through the code. It builds a message. Notice it puts those little funny characters. Those are called new lines. New line. And let's show the message box. Okay. I can't really do much because I have to move it. But basically line one, carriage return, line two, carriage return. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to run it. And I'm going to move this to the side. And we're going to do it one more time just so you can see what it does. We we'll click change color button. It comes in, builds the string. The string we just built gets put right here. This is the title. I get an OK button and an asterisk. There you go. So notice you pick becomes line one. This puts a carriage return or a new line, so it brings the cursor to here. We got the color, new line again to here. And we just show the user. We run the code. We hit the exit button. And now your knowledge has expanded.